Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about types of arrays. We all know array is a collection of similar data items that are stored in a continuous memory location. Okay, so if you want to store 10 elements, the array elements are stored in a memory continuously. Okay, so arrays are derived data types in C programming language which can store Sim, uh, similar data type that is primitive data types such as int, char, double and float. Okay. So these data types can be used to store in an array. So in C programming language arrays can be divided into the following types. There are three types. The first one is one dimensional array, two dimensional array and multi dimensional array. These three are important types of arrays. Okay, so let's see one by one. So first one dimensional array. One dimensional array is nothing but the array which contains only one subscript. Okay, which contain only one subscript is known as single subscript variables or one dimensional array. Suppose I want to declare one array int a of 5 okay so this is known as subscript okay this is subscript so this array contain only one subscript that is known as single dimensional array or one dimensional array okay so array is a collection of elements with a single row or more than one column with a common name is known as multi-dimensional array sorry sing one dimensional array okay so here this array contains only single row so this is one row but it contains multiple columns okay so these are the multiple columns such type of array is known as one dimensional array okay so this is the example for one dimensional array int a of is equals to 10 20 30 40 50 so here Five memory locations are allocated and five elements are stored in this memory locations. Okay. So let's see how to initialize and declare one, one dimensional array. So for creating an array, it involves two steps. The first one is a declaration and the next one is initialization. So declaration is nothing but memory allocation and initialization is nothing but storing values into the memory locations. Okay. When you declare only memory is allocated for the variables okay if you declare the values are stored in those memory locations okay clear let's see declaration we all know how to declare one array the syntax is data type array name of size okay here data types are c valid data types those are int char float double okay these are the data types array name is any user defined name but that should follow the identifier rules okay whatever the rules for identifiers that should be followed okay next size is used to represent the number of elements that the array can hold okay so here see the examples int a of 5 int is the data type a is the array name and 5 is the size so declares an integer array with five elements next float f of five so here declares a float array with five elements so here it, it only stores real numbers the numbers which contain fractional parts okay next char c of 10 so declares an character array with 10 elements okay let's see initialization so initialization means storing values into the memory locations into the array so here you can use any these okay for initialization purpose data type array name of size is equals to list of elements okay data type array name array of size is equals to list of elements so here the example is int is the data type n is the array name 
5 is the size is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 5 memory locations are allocated and 5 elements are stored in those memory locations. Okay, this is initialization or you can store like this also int n of 0. So, array index value starts from 0 to n minus 1. So, here the size of array is 5. So, it starts from 0 to 4. Okay. So, we are storing n of 0 is equals to 0, n of 1 is equals to 1, n of 2 is equals to 2, n of 3 is equals to 3 and n of 4 is equals to 4. You can store like this or you can use this method also. Okay. Next one is two dimensional array. So, one dimensional array is containing only one subscript. Okay. But two dimensional array contains two subscripts. Okay. So, the one is used to store the row size and another one is used to store column size. Okay. So, here array contains collection of elements with a common name using two subscripts. Okay. Here it contains two subscripts that is known as two dimensional array. Two dimensional array is used to represent with more than one row and more than one column. So, in one dimensional array, it contains single row and number of columns but in two dimensional array it contains more than one row and more than one column okay so it is used for representing matrices okay so it is used to represent matrices matrices contain number of rows and number of columns okay so here the example is int is the data type a is the array name First subscript is used to represent row size and second subscript is used to represent column size. Okay. So, let's see. Here, two dimensional array declaration. So, how to declare two dimensional array? So, here, very simple. It contains only two subscripts. Data type, array name, row size, column size. Okay. So, first subscript is used to store the row size and the second subscript is used to store the column size. Here the example is int a of 2 and 3. So, first the first is used to represent rows. So, here the number of rows are 2. Number of columns are 3. Okay, number of rows are 2. Number of columns are 3. In this way, memory is allocated. Okay, so for one dimensional array, if you want to access the element, we use index values. Those are 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, here the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if you want to represent fourth element, that is 4, uh, you can use A of 3. For first position, A of 1. For second position, A of 2. A of 3. And A of 0. Like this. Okay. Now, tell me how you can represent the elements in two dimensional array so for representing two dimensional array so here it contains three rows sorry two rows and three columns so here the elements are 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so if you want to access the individual element in the array two dimensional array so here it contains 0 1 0 1 2 okay so every array contains array name that is a so if you want to access the elements in two dimensional array then you need to use array name and index values so for representing first position value a of 0 so a of 0 and 0 a of 0 0 value is 1 okay next a of 0 1 so a of 0 1 value is 0 1 value is 2 next a of 0 2 so a of 0 2 value is 3 ok like this you can represent the elements in 2 dimensional array next a of 1 a 0 a of 1 and 0 the value is 4 next a of 1 5 value is 
sorry e of 1 1 the value is 5 e of 1 2 the value is 6 in this way you can represent the individual elements in the array let's see the example so here initialization so initialization means storing values into the memory location we all know how to declare the array so we declared array which contains two rows and two columns so the syntax is int a of 2 comma 2 in this way so two rows and two columns okay so next if you want to store the values the syntax is data type array name row index number column index number is equals to value so i want to store in this position 50 so i want to store 50 element in this position okay how can you represent that position so here the array name is a 0 1 0 1 so i want to store in this position 50 okay so a of so here 1 because this is a second row 1 and next here 1 so a of 1 1 is equals to 50 so a of 0 1 is equals to 0 1 is equals to 5 a of 1 0 1 0 is equals to 0 a of 2 and 3 so this is 2 this is also 2 1 more 3 a of 2 3 50 in this position 50 will be stored okay next D data type array name row size column size is equals to list of values you can enter you can store the values individually by using each subscript or you can store list of values okay for suppose you declare a array with a of 2 2 next is equals to values are 1 2 3 okay so in this way you given the values so first memory is allocated for the array so here row size is 2 column size is 2 so that's why in this way the memory is allocated next the values are 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 in fourth position in this position what value would be stored so the value is 0 okay so in this way the values will be stored in the memory locations next one is multi-dimensional array okay so when the array contains more than two subscripts is known as multi-dimensional array which contains more than two subscripts is known as multi-dimensional array so here the example int is the data type a is the array and three subscripts so three-dimensional array or multi-dimensional array okay so here first subscript is used to represent how many arrays are there how many individual arrays are there for suppose int a of 2 2 and also 2 so first subscript is used to represent the number of arrays are 2 so here 1 and here sorry here 0 and here 1 okay two subscripts are there two arrays are there so if you represent here 3 next one more 4 one more like this okay so first is used to represent the number of arrays so here the number of arrays are 2 okay The second subscript is used to represent number of rows and columns for first subscript. Okay, first array. So, here you represented two. So, that's why the first array contains two rows and two columns. Okay, so here two rows and two columns. If you represent here three, if you given three, so three rows and three columns. Okay, so in this way, the memory is allocated. Okay. So, 2, 2 and 2. So, first is used to represent number of arrays, 1, 0, 1. And the second one is used to represent first array, rows and columns. And the third 
subscript is used to represent number of rows and columns for second array okay let's see how to declare the array so here declaration for three dimensional array so same data type array name so here you need to use three subscripts okay so here int a of 2 half 2 and 2 so this means i already said that first two is used to represent the how many arrays are there so here two arrays those are one sorry zero and one so next second one is used to represent the first array rows and columns so first array contains two rows and two columns next third one is used to represent number of rows and columns for second matrix so here it contains two rows and two columns so in this way memory is allocated okay next how to store the values in the array so here the syntax is data type array name subscripts is equals to list of values so i already said here two arrays are there first one contains two rows and two columns and second one contains two rows and two columns so here you stored one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so nine is not there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7 and 8. Okay. Now, tell me how to represent each element in the array. So, for one dimensional array, we need to represent in this way. A of 0, A of 1 like this. For two dimensional array, A of 0 of 1 in this way. So, for three dimensional array means multi dimensional array. So, here it also contains 0, 1, 0, 1. So, here also 0, 1 and 0, 1. So, if you want to access the first array element, then you need to use A of 0, 0, 0. Okay. So, in A of A is the array name. A of 0. So, first subscript is used to represent first array. Next, 0th row, 0th column. Okay. So, that is 1. Next, if you want to say, represent second element, then A of 0, 0, 1. Okay. So, if you want to represent third value, A of 0, 1 0 if you want to represent fourth value a of 0 1 1 like this you can represent for second array so you need to represent a of 1 0 0 a of 1 1 0 a of 1 1 1 okay in this way you can represent each element in the array okay I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts regarding to this, please comment me in the comment section. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.